excited to go on this journey. I haven't, you know, shot anything yet, but uh, when you see this character and when you see how Jason Momoa is going to play this guy, it's going to be amazing. The original Aquaman needed to get a little bit of a boost. Hello? And so they thought there was no better person to play that than me. How cool is that? I'm going to be that mother... Casting Jason was a really bold move, and I got to give credit to DC and Warner Brothers and Zack Snyder for making that call five years ago. I came into Zack's office and did an audition, and he goes, I want you to play Aquaman. And I'm like, who? You want to play what? I can just think it's white, blonde hair, shaved, <laughs> not me. And he tells me the whole pitch, and I was like, wow, hell yeah, I'd love to. It's just the idea of having a brown skin superhero. I mean, that's awesome. From the Philippines to Hawaii to Tahiti and Fiji, everyone has their water gods that they celebrate. Ours is Tanaloa and Kanaloa and Maui, and it just made sense. But you can't say anything for, you know, at least a couple of years, and it sucked. I can't keep a secret to save my life. I buy a present for my wife. I come home and I want to tell her. I can't keep a secret for my kids, so I hated doing interviews because people were like, you can do Aquaman. I'm like, nope, I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, it's just had a lie, nonstop. I told some dude he can punch me in the face, so I still owe him that. <laughs> but it feels great that these people know it's going to come out. I don't lie anymore. At last, the reality of it has finally arrived. Jason's big moment taking up the trident. Ladies and gentlemen, your Aquaman, Jason Momoa! Everybody's talking about Jason at Comic Con and running out and playing the trident like Jimi Hendrix. He crushed that thing. So Jason's up, you know, Jason's doing his thing. Oh my God! That was surreal. I've been in that room many times, but I've never ran barefoot with a trident before. That's why fighters don't run out all amped up because I could barely breathe when I got there. I was so excited. The king is here! Jason's had a long time to really think about who his character is and you know all credit to Jason that uh he was so on board with my vision I just read James script and I'm really 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 happy and stoked Aquaman really is a classic story about a guy who feels like he's from two different worlds and ultimately he doesn't feel like he belongs to either one that resonated with me instantly you know being born in Hawaii and raised in Iowa being split between my parents it's just not really knowing where you're one place you're, you're a white guy over here you're another thing so it's just kind of like he's the lone wolf in the whole thing so i definitely can identify with that jason knows the emotion of the story but he also worked out so much getting all that muscle definition to get the body of a leading man <laughs> i think james wants to be really slim and so i get like two and a half months of just doing like fight choreography and then you know indoor climbing probably just climb a lot so like your body is constantly working and then this is some meat because <sighs> i ran out of my house and just threw some meat in my pocket i always have meat in my pocket it's weird or sucks pre-production jason spent a lot of time in harnesses on this job you know just rehearsing and just sort of defining his movement for his character in the rigs <laughs> That's the fun part. I gotta build this character. If I go boom and I hit it and I can control my whole upper body, I enjoy the creative aspect of that. It starts to take its toll after 12, 13 hours a day. It's like a giant giving you a wedgie, but you're stuck in the wedgie. You stay in the wedgie for a while. Yeah. 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 Ah! And it's not a comfortable thing, those rigs. Oh, yeah, that's nice and tight. Good job, Jack. Jack, give the most important job to get me the out of this thing, okay? <laughs> when they start shooting, I'll probably be very sad because I'll have been away from my kids for almost two months. Yeah, I'll probably just be missing my family, man. Yeah.
Kennedy and Roll. What's up? Yeah. Aquaman's gonna save you. <laughs> Filmmaking is such a challenging industry that we're in. <laughs> You can't really make a movie like this without a sense of intensity. I take my action very seriously. You alright? Yeah, yeah. I enjoy doing my own stunts. You don't like that, you don't like fresh vanilla ice cream. That's it, good. <laughs> he loves the sort of physicality of performing. Let's get it. And action. I put ideas in anything that I do. I feel like that's my job. And it made sense to me that he's going to become the one who can wield the trident later. But I wanted him to be very much like a bar fighter. And then you can take what he's going to be great at with a little bit of that bar fighting. He's going to be a fun character to watch fight. Jake's got up the stab, you know, rise up so you face that camera. It's fun being a boy and playing and fighting. But the more takes we do, the harder it gets. It's hard to recover. Oh, sorry, you okay? You okay? <laughs> Jason is awesome. There's a little humor or playfulness that Jason has, and that's important. He's such a presence on screen, and you can see the fun, the charm behind the eyes. That's, to me, what always sort of sets people apart. I have to tell you, working opposite him was so fun. I mean, he's got so much energy. Jason has this gift of he's just a big kid. If you take a look at Jason on set, he's walking around, he's playing his bass guitar. I'm learning bass, I never learned bass before, that's rad. Keeps me ready. He's been in the business for so long, so he's a mentor to me. I watch how he works the set, and how he's very attentive to the shots and the details, and, you know, he's on top of it. Can we go a little higher? Anywhere in here, chest, anything? Yeah, there. Um, okay. Action! Oh. I exude a lot of energy on set. Sometimes I love to kind of roll my actors up, and uh, and when it's a big scene where they, they, they're supposed to be like thousands of people around, it's cool to just get on the microphone and just yell at the actors. Get in, get in the the crowd is so against Jason, so uh, the idea to just boo him was fun. So Jason's making fun of James for, you know, trying to act like the crowd. Sure, James, I love the idea. I think we're going to need someone else to say it. <laughs> just act, Jason, really. That's all you got to do. Just act. Yeah, just, just act like I'm not, I'm not like you, Patrick. He's such a larger than life character, but when you get to know him, he's such a family man. He loves his wife, he loves his kids, and that's what he lives for. I love you. I love you. So whether people understand or not, it's 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 a lot of travel and away from home. I never went two months without seeing my kids, so if you interviewed me a month ago, I was in hell. But my family's in town, so my wife, my children are with me, which has been amazing. And when Yaya walked out in costume, my son was there. And that was cool, because my son just ran at him. And I was like, don't, it's like a, I don't know how much that suit is, but don't beat that suit, I can't afford it. Hi, Mark. I'm trying to take experiences from everyday life and put it into the character, especially with the father role. Uh, my brother, love you, love you. It's a man. When we talked to Jason about who he saw as his father, he just immediately wanted Tamora. I love him. I've always it's been a dream to work with him, man. Ever since I saw Once for Warriors, he's like the guy I looked up to. So, I mean, it was epic. He saw a movie I was in, an old movie of mine called Once for Warriors. And it really impinged on him, this film, in, in certain ways, culturally, spiritually. I guess for him, too, being a brown boy brought up in Iowa. He kind of identified with the, the cultural elements, you know, having Hawaiian roots himself. And I notice on this journey as well, Jason's very much trying to bring to the fore some of the cultural elements. We added a bunch of Polynesian moments where, you know, we do the Hawaiian put nose to nose, and it was great. I'm really happy that James saw that. And let's cut it. Good. Great. And let's do the movie. Beautiful. I think a lot of the Polynesian, a lot of the Islanders will be 
very appreciative for that. So we have a good connection. Him and I love the haka. Ha being breath, ka being fire. So it's like, like a fire dance. I used to do it growing up, so uh, it comes in handy for all that energy stuff. <laughs> you can get that, get it all warmed up and ready to rock. <laughs> And on his birthday, they put on a big uh, haka. The Trent 38 while I was here, and that was amazing. Everyone surprised me. First surprise I've ever had in my life, so that was pretty special. Rob Cowan got me, and he goes, Jason, we need to talk. And he brought me outside, and then I just hear the sound of like people going off. And I can hear the haka, but it's just not computing in my mind. And then he just kind of walks away. I turn and I see it, and I'm like, oh my god. So, so, they got me so bad. And then it was just amazing to see my son in there doing the haka. comes back to the fact that he is such a loving dad, a loving husband, and that's the most important thing to him. Greatest birthday ever. And I wanted to bring his personality out of the real world and into the world of this film. I came because I have no choice. I came to save my own and the people that I love. What's great about the superhero movies is just to show hope. I was raised by my mother. She was just on the cargo with me. My mother is a superhero. Single mothers are superheroes. Just a dude dressed up 